top five must read the culture books. Celebrate a voyage of literary excellence as we unveil the quintessential works within Ian M. Banks's profound culture series. These indeed represent the paramount quintet, the foremost exemplars that encapsulate the ethos of the culture universe. Here are the top five must-read culture novels. Consider Phlebas takes us on a thrilling journey through the vast and intricate universe of the culture, a post-scarcity, utopian civilization of advanced artificial intelligences and their human counterparts. There brews a tale of conflict, cunning, and the clash of ideologies. The story revolves around Horza, a changer, a shape-shifting humanoid who opposes the culture. Horza is employed by the Idirans, a religious and militant species at war with the culture, to retrieve a culture mind, a highly advanced AI from a derelict spacecraft. This mind, known as the Peaceful Explorer, possesses valuable information that could alter the course of the war. As Horsa embarks on his mission, he finds himself in a series of perilous encounters, including skirmishes with culture warships and encounters with various eccentric characters. Among them is Balvida, a culture operative who provides a window into the culture's mindset. Throughout the story, we witness the stark contrast between the culture's hedonistic, benevolent, and seemingly decadent society and the Idaran's fervent religious and expansionist culture. Horza, driven by his own convictions, struggles to reconcile his allegiance to the Idirans with the allure of the culture's values, leading to moments of self-doubt and moral questioning. The novel is replete with thought-provoking quotes that reflect the book's central themes. One such quote from the novel is, experience as well as common sense indicated that the most reliable method of avoiding self-extinction was not to equip oneself with the means to accomplish it in the first place. As the story unfolds, the reader is treated to breathtaking space battles, intricate political maneuvering, and explorations of identity and loyalty. The fate of Horza, the culture mind, and the outcome of the Idiran culture war hang in the balance, leading to a dramatic and memorable conclusion. Consider Phlebas is a masterful introduction to Ian M. Banks' culture series setting the stage for a universe where questions of morality, sentience, and the meaning of existence are explored through the lens of thrilling space opera and richly developed characters. In the player of games, we find ourselves in the captivating universe of the culture once again. This time, our protagonist is the enigmatic and talented Jernal Morat Gurge a master game player living in the culture's utopian society. Gurge is exceptional at strategy games, and he lives a life of leisure, indulging his passion for winning and seeking out increasingly complex and challenging games. However, he becomes disillusioned with the lack of meaningful competition in the culture. That's when he receives an intriguing invitation from a culture official, Special Circumstances, to participate in the game of his life. Special Circumstances is a shadowy branch of the culture government that deals with delicate matters beyond the norm. Gurdjieff's mission is to travel to the distant and highly stratified Empire of Azad and compete in the ultimate game, also called Azad. The winner of this game is not only celebrated but gains immense power and influence within the Empire. As Gurge immerses himself in the world of Azad, he encounters a society marked by brutal hierarchies, oppression, and a complex, multi-layered game that reflects the Empire's values. He is joined by the culture's sentient AI, Maufrin Skell, and Yai Meristinu, who serves as his guide and companion. The Player of Games is a thrilling exploration of politics, culture, and the power of games. Gurgay's journey challenges his beliefs about competition, morality, and the true nature of the culture's benevolence. The novel also raises questions about the impact of culture and environment on an individual's behavior and values. One thought-provoking quote from the book is, common misconception that, that fun is relaxing. If it is, you're not doing it right. As Gurge navigates the treacherous waters of the Azadian Empire, readers are treated to a narrative filled with tension, strategy, and moral dilemmas. Ultimately, 
The Player of Games is a brilliant examination of the clash between two vastly different civilizations and the power of games to reveal the truths about society and the self. In use of weapons, we are once again thrust into the intriguing universe of the culture, but this time the story takes a darker and more complex turn. The novel introduces us to the enigmatic character of Sheradanina Zakalwe, a seasoned and deadly operative employed by special circumstances, a shadowy branch of the culture. Zakalwe is a man with a haunted past, marked by violence and tragedy. He's a master strategist, skilled in diplomacy, espionage and warfare. As the culture's ultimate problem solver, he has been assigned to resolve conflicts on various planets and civilizations, often employing morally ambiguous methods to achieve his goals. The narrative unfolds through a non-linear structure, alternating between two timelines. In one timeline, we follow Zakalwe on his missions, witnessing his ruthless efficiency and the toll it takes on his psyche. In the other, we delve into his mysterious past, gradually uncovering the traumatic events that have shaped him. The title, Use of Weapons, reflects the central theme of the novel. It explores the moral dilemmas surrounding the culture's use of force and manipulation to bring about peace and order in the galaxy. As Zakalwe is dispatched to resolve a particularly challenging conflict on a distant planet, he must confront his own past and the questionable methods he's employed in the name of the culture. Throughout the book, Ian M. Banks weaves a complex narrative that delves into the nature of violence, redemption, and the consequences of one's actions. It raises profound questions about the ethics of intervention and the blurred lines between heroism and villainy. One of the memorable quotes from the book is, he loved the plasma rifle. He was an artist with it. He could paint pictures of destruction, compose symphonies of demolition, write elegies of annihilation using that weapon. As the story unfolds, readers are taken on a thought-provoking journey that challenges their notions of morality and the use of power. Use of Weapons is a masterfully crafted exploration of the complexities of the human condition set against the backdrop of the culture's grandeur and ambiguity. Accession takes us deeper into the vast and intricate universe of the culture, where advanced artificial intelligences, known as minds, and their human counterparts, navigate the cosmos. In this installment, a mysterious and unprecedented phenomenon, known as an accession, emerges on the galactic scene, shaking the very foundations of the culture's understanding of the universe. The story unfolds through multiple viewpoints, including that of Bir Gnar Hofoen, a culture diplomat who finds himself entangled in the intrigue surrounding the accession. This enigmatic object, which defies the laws of physics and logic, appears to be a gateway to a realm beyond comprehension. It has the potential to upset the delicate balance of power in the galaxy, as various factions vie to exploit its capabilities. As the culture's finest minds and ships engage in a complex dance of diplomacy, espionage and strategy, the narrative delves into themes of curiosity, ambition and the limitations of even the most advanced beings. The characters grapple with their own desires and insecurities in the face of the Accession's profound mystery. Throughout the novel, Ian M. Banks explores the implications of encountering something beyond one's understanding. A quote from the book encapsulates this. There came a point when if a conspiracy was that powerful and subtle, it became pointless to worry about it. As the culture races to decipher the Accession's purpose and origin, readers are treated to a rich tapestry of political maneuvering, philosophical contemplation, and humorous interactions between the eccentric and brilliant minds that inhabit the culture's ships. Accession is a gripping exploration of the culture's place in the universe and its struggle to comprehend the truly extraordinary. It challenges the limits of human and machine intelligence while immersing readers in a world where the line between science and mysticism blurs. Look to Windward unfolds against the backdrop of the Masak Orbital, 
a massive artificial habitat that orbits a gas giant, the Chell system. The story pivots around the Chelgrian civilization, a species that underwent a tumultuous caste-driven civil war, subtly instigated by the culture's well-intended but ill-fated interventions. This war led to tragic loss and suffering, casting a long shadow over the Chelgrians and indirectly on the culture itself. Kui Lan, a Chelgrian deeply affected by this war, is on a covert mission to the culture's orbital Masak, managed by the AI hub. There, he meets Zilla, an exiled Chelgrian composer, and both grapple with their shared history and contrasting views of the culture. As the novel unfolds, it explores themes of memory, loss, and the consequences of past actions. The Chelgrians are a species deeply affected by their history, and their quest for vengeance and reconciliation plays a central role in the narrative. The culture, with its benevolent but sometimes perplexing ways, attempts to guide these civilizations toward a peaceful resolution. Banks interlaces the narrative with beautifully constructed musings on life, destiny, and the ephemeral beauty of existence. One such reflection that encapsulates the novel's spirit is, I am not an animal brain. I am not even some attempt to produce an AI through software running on a computer. I am a culture mind. We are close to gods and on the far side. As the threads of look to windward intertwine and unravel, readers are invited to reflect upon the cost of intervention, the weight of remorse, and the subtle lights of hope and redemption shimmering through the vast expanse of space. Through its carefully crafted characters and elegantly painted sceneries, the novel emerges not just as a space opera, but as a philosophical meditation set within the endless canvas of the stars. Beyond the five books mentioned from Consider Phlebas to Look to Windward, the Culture series promises a wealth of further exploration offering readers an opportunity to engage with a diverse array of characters, civilizations, and ethical dilemmas. Whether you're seeking the grandeur of space opera, the intricacies of political intrigue, or the profound questions that transcend time and space, the Culture series offers a literary odyssey that is as intellectually stimulating as it is emotionally resonant.